Scorpios, oh Scorpios, where are they, Scorpios? Welcome. Check out your Mars. Check out your your Pluto. Where do you have Aries or Scorpio in your chart? Keep an open mind. I'm battling with a door list today. Very spicy, caliente, spicy, 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 spicy. Um, it's very detailed. I love the designs. It's very comfortable. Um. And yeah, codes at the beginning of the video, also linked down below. You like the flow, ride right the wave. You like the vibe, join the tribe. Feel free to comment, like, and subscribe, okay? This is for Scorpio. Scorpio's future energy. You like the flow, ride right the wave. Scorpio's future energy, please. Scorpio's future energy. Acceptance and action. Okay, this makes me feel like Mars. Um, This is six. This is about love and pleasure, artistry. Gemini, you could be making a big decision in love. Waxing, give a six. Taking action. If you have been um, sort of uh, wanting something, you could have wanted a new job, new career. You could have said, I wanted new love. You want a relationship you, or a commitment. You could have said, I want um, a child. You could say, I want um something whatever you want you're taking action to go get it so if this is romance it's like oh i want new love well you're putting yourself out to go get it this could be you being on dating apps dating mingling um going out meeting new people right thank you so much for the comments like subscriptions donations readings bookings dms and messages as well but the number four wax and crescent two acceptance so that's earth energy that's also order responsibility it's your responsibility to accept the things that you cannot change right the willingness to change the things that you can right and the strength to know the difference between the two this is acceptance and that allows you to take action acceptance leads to release all right this is also the heart the home mothering parenting of oneself allows you to accept your heart, following your heart, following what makes you happy. This could also be you following a career that makes you happy. Uh, going towards a relationship or a commitment that makes you happy, okay? You making that decision for yourself. That's what you're coming into. It could be someone brand new that you meet, but there's acceptance. And acceptance allows you to make energetic space for the new. New people, new love, new um, connection, relationship. It's all about acceptance. Just acceptance. Releasing the who, what, when, where, why. What does Scorpio not see coming in their future? What do they not see coming in their future? Okay. Ooh, tiger. The sun. <laughs> Someone likes your legs. Legs, stepping into a new experience. Yeah, you could be starting something brand new. You could be starting a brand new relationship. Brand new connection, brand new job, brand new way of going about life, right? Um, no longer sitting around and waiting for something to happen. You could be working out as well, okay? Harp, great happiness. Oh, so great happiness is coming your way. You could be dealing with a Leo. I see the lion here and the sun here. Happiness and well-being. All right. Some of you have a sun in Scorpio, rising sun in Scorpio, or a Leo in your Mars, the sign Leo in your Mars, or Leo in your Pluto. Ant, work, achievement, success. Look at that. All your hard work is going to pay off, Scorpio. Tiger, doing something risky, taking a chance. You know, by accepting something, it allows you to let go. That is the risk. That is the risk, right? When we accept something, it means... We release control over an outcome, which means that uh, that is risky. It's risky business, right? That's taking a chance. Like, you know what? I don't know what's out there, but I'm going to put myself out there and find out. That's a chance. That's risky. I feel like you a daredevil, Scorpio. I don't like it. What does Scorpio not see coming in their future? Please, Holy Spirit. more all right base secret admirer you have a secret admirer scorpio someone likes you they like like you okay basket recognition reward for merit oh, that's beautiful you're gonna be recognized and rewarded 
for whatever you have been doing, um, shining very brightly, staying in high vibration and encouraging other people to do the same, okay? That's also distance. The sun is distance energy. It could be travel. Some of you will be traveling soon. Beautiful, beautiful. It could be children. Um, you could be really happy with your children or you're experiencing really good health. The sun is good health, right? Younger man, dealing with a relationship with a younger man. Okay. Mice, discord among friends or family. Dog close up, pleasure with a close friend. And boat, money or property through an inheritance, winning or windfall. Ooh, money, honey. Money's coming in for you. Okay, okay. I know you like that, Scorpio. You are the house of finances, taxes, loans, and assets. Let's get into it, Scorpio. Remember, just the biggest thing about um, giving or even receiving is to give with pure intention from your heart. Not because you expect anything back. And also to remember to not over give, especially if there's nothing, you know, being received. So just be aware of that as well. That you're about to be recognized and rewarded, Scorpio. Yes. Because you accepted. You accepted something. Which leads to your abundance. That could be accepting something, letting go. That could be accepting love into your life, new love. You know, someone who calls you a queen or a goddess or they see your value. And them seeing and recognizing your value doesn't take away from their own because they have self-esteem and self-confidence. What did your animal spirit wish to tell you, Scorpio? What did your animal spirit wish to tell you, Scorpio? What did your animal spirit wish to tell you, Scorpio? Thank you so much for being here because like you totally didn't have to be here, but like you're totally here, which is pretty cool. Thanks for being here, Scorpio. Or a cross watcher. You don't have to be a Scorpio to resonate with this reading. Frog, prosperity, and horse. You're dealing with a Sagittarius or a Pisces. Okay. Frog, prosperity, let go of the past and embrace change. Opportunities are close at hand. Hop into this new, new, new day with joy. Abundance and good fortune await you. <laughs> this is beautiful. The frog is literally about uh, taking an, a chance to jump. Jump into a new opportunity, jump into new experiences, jump into something brand new, you know, and embrace change because change is consistent. Things always change. We always change as people, right? Horse, freedom. Your heart is pure and free. A greater purpose calls you. You have unlimited reserves of stamina and strength. You follow the winds of change and accomplish your dreams. This is you following that wind. It's like when you get a gust of wind to move in one direction and you just sort of get pushed into something brand new, a brand new experience. I don't think you saw it coming. This is freedom though. This is freedom. Freedom. Let's get into the tarot. What deck do we feel like using today, you guys? Well, hold on. I'll get you a message from your spirit guide of the light and deceased loved ones. Give me a message from Scorpio's deceased loved one spirit guide of the light remember you could also be connected to a deceased loved one or spirit guide of the light that is a scorpio so keep that in mind when you watch these readings okay you could easily watch any of your de deceased loved one scorpio scorpio i don't know if someone has a deceased deceased loved one that is a scorpio or an aries but you can watch some of these readings for your deceased loved ones you can watch their sign okay they may have a message for you or a story to tell you what message do you have from uh, Scorpio Spirit Guides of the Light and Deceased Loved Ones, please? There's Diana. Oh, my God. I was so, I wanted to get this one so bad. Diana, Princess of Wales. Oh, my gosh. This is my girl. Okay. This is my girl. Oh, and Britney Spears. Look, Scorpio, you have a lit reading right now. Better to have one night of pleasure than a whole life of mystery. Of <laughs> mystery? Huh. A whole life of misery is actually what it says. So <laughs> what it's actually saying is it's better to have one night of pleasure than to be in um, a commitment where you never know what the other person is doing, what they're up to, or they're mysterious, or they got secrets, or it leads to misery. What I mean is it could lead to you being with somebody that doesn't actually contribute to your happiness, but sucks it away. Don't ask, don't tell. DNA tests are for commoners. The truth is there are many people in every marriage. Ooh, Scorpio. It feels like uh, infidelity. 
You know, she actually married somebody, the king or whatever, or the prince. She married him, and the night before that they actually got married, he told her, look, I don't want to go into this with any reserves. I don't love you. She still married him, but there was multiple people in their relationship. Um, she ended up, you know, leaving him and uh, following her heart to a brand new relationship. And she was known for someone who was a daredevil and didn't just sit around and... She didn't accept less than she deserved. She stopped looking at the expectations of what other people thought and decided to go for what made her happy. Princess Diana. She was a bit of a troublemaker. But she was that woman. Like, she was the woman. I love her. I do love Princess Diana. There's, I love Princess Diana. I love Marilyn Monroe. You have Britney Spears here. When gambling with love, hedge your bets. Take the risk of getting hurt because being in love can be toxic, but the high is amazing. Is amazing. Trust your family to take care of you when you can't. What's ironic is, um, even to this day, Britney Spears is actually fighting for her rights over her own music, for her rights to perform. She says she refuses to perform if she's still under the management of her father because she's standing up for herself. That's the truth, right? Um, this is a big, this is bigger. It's about following what feels right for you. It's about following what's right for you. Never letting anyone limit your voice. Masculine figures, toxic spouses, um, whatever they got going on. It, don't let that ever taint your genius and who you are. You're amazing, Scorpio. Rather that's a father, rather that like a, you know, a, a abusive father that could be, um, a toxic uh masculine figure in your life like you're not gonna let that stop you from moving forward and leaving them behind in the dust you gotta go okay uh the balboa the balboa it's actually a constructor i believe that's a boa constructor um i want to say it's a burmese python but it's about being courageous enough to venture out on your own and to remember that blondes do have more fun at the end of the day. Just saying. Um, it's about, you know, really going after what makes you happy. Okay, Scorpio? And uh, don't let anyone get in the way of that. You got too much beautiful stuff happening here, Scorpio. All right. Let's get your deck out. Let's see what's going on. What is your future, Scorpio? It looks like you're going towards the sun. You're going towards happiness, which starts within yourself. I like this for you, Scorpio. You're free. You're free. Look at that. Will of Fortune. You're free. You could be receiving a message from an Aquarius, Taurus, Steel, Scorpio, Aries, Pisces, Sagittarius. You could be heading into a long-term relationship. Okay? This could even be with someone brand new. So, yeah. I love it. You have a secret admirer. Let's see. What is Scorpio's future? Please, Holy Spirit, allow me to be the messenger channel for Scorpio's future. Please, what is Scorpio's future? What is Scorpio's future? You've got sunshine. You've got sunshine. What is Scorpio's future, please? <laughs> Look at you. The Empress, Taurus, Libra, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You're in your element. <laughs> You're in your freaking element. Some of you guys could even be married. Seven of Pentacles, Taurus, Saturn, Taurus, Capricorn. Someone's having difficulty talking to you. <clears throat> They're having difficulty talking to you. I can feel it in my throat chakra. Mm. Ace of Wands. Ooh, this is beautiful. This is like investing. Someone's about to invest. Holla. Seven of Pentacles is all about maybe going back to school, maybe approaching retirement. This could be you investing into something, investing into yourself. Someone could be seeing you as the empress, that you take good care of yourself. You're independent. You're very nurturing and loving, extremely fertile. The Ace of Wands, you could be giving birth to a boy, or this is a new sexual partner, a brand new person coming into your life, Scorpio. Okay? Boop, boop, boop. 
Judgment in reverse, Libra, Aries, Scorpio, Capricorn. This is where the acceptance comes from, accepting that some things are not meant to be. Like, if something doesn't work out, it's because it wasn't meant to be. Someone has also been ignoring a calling. They've been ignoring an awakening. It's the Ace of Cups. They've been ignoring the Ace of Cups. They're ignoring it. They're ignoring it. They're ignoring it, Scorpio. Five of Swords, Venus, and Aquarius. They're ignoring it. Someone's also um, going to do something out of revenge. There could be an arrest that escalates a murder. You may hear about this like on the news or something. You also have Gemini, Mars, Gemini, Aries, Scorpio. Seven of Pentacles. Someone's just like trying to figure out what do they want to invest in. Give me three more. They're trying to figure out what is it that they want to invest in. Four of Wands, Venus, and Aries could be Scorpio. This Ace of Wands leads to the Four of Wands. I feel like for some of you, this leads to like a... Because Four of Wands, Venus, and Aries could be Scorpio. It's a relationship. It leads to a marriage. leads to a commitment. Um, a celebration of some kind. Give me two more, please. Two more for Scorpio. Five of Wands, Leo Saturn, Leo Capricorn. Someone's making a bad judgment call because of other people or because they have conflicting thoughts. There could also be a lot of people um, approaching you, Scorpio, that are interested in you. Like they're trying to compete for your attention or something like that. And the Four Swords, Libra Jupiter, Libra Sagittarius, Pisces. One more, one more, three of swords. Someone's heartbroken. I think you have, um, <clears throat> I'm going to put that out there. Some of you, if you broke up with a person, they're stalking you. They're stalking you. They're angry at you. They're gossiping about you, okay? They're bitter, they're really bitter about it. Um, yeah. If you have someone that was like an ex-girlfriend, ex-wife, they're gossiping really badly about you right now. Like, they feel like if you're moving on to new love, because that Three of Swords, I saw the Queen of Swords also. She was in reverse. That's like an ex. That's like someone you dated in a relationship you've been like boyfriend girlfriend or wife and husband that person's very bitter they're uh widowed they may not even be able to have children they're very bitter about this they may be gossiping to other people about you because they don't want you to go after this brand new love which is hella selfish just saying it's selfish um and remember if they have anything uh, negative to tell the people that you guys are mutually, you guys both mutually know, stuff like that, ignore it. They have, they're, they would only be better because they know that on some level, you're a catch. All right? I don't see any masculine energy besides him being the Three of Swords. It could be dealing with a Libra or a Capricorn. I did want to sort of see, but, you know, you have the Six of Swords, Aquarius, Mercury, moving on to calmer waters. You could be communicating over waters or moving on after a breakup or a split. That person that you're leaving behind from that old uh, relationship or whatever, they were abusive. You were with an abusive girlfriend, abusive wife. Um, and you're heading towards somebody who is very nurturing. They want it to be focused on just you and them no one else what's funny is i would feel like i feel like the reason spirit only put the empress out here and no masculine energy no masculine figures was because of the fact that they wanted me to view this reading not as oh she's married oh she's in a relationship oh she's like they want me to just view it as this is a woman that respects herself do you get what i'm saying which means that 
this is a woman that is very nurturing, very loving. She's going to make an amazing mother one day. She's extremely fertile. All right. I don't see anybody around her, which makes me feel like the five of wands would be people competing for her, for her attention. Um, she's very nurturing. She manifests out of nothing. She may surprise you a lot. Venus in Aquarius, I feel like someone's going to do something out of revenge. They're going to do something out of revenge because they know you're moving on. They want you to stay like this and you don't got time for this. Okay? You will take time to heal. You will take time away from social media. I do see that. I see that. I see healing coming, but you have new love. Be aware of that. There's no one going to wait on you. No one's going to wait on you. Da, da, da. But what I'm saying is there's going to be a lot of healing for you because you were with somebody very abusive. You were. You were with somebody really abusive. They wanted to try to diminish who you were. And that's why I don't see any masculine figures out here. The seven of pentacles towards Saturn, towards Capricorn. I think you're working on something, your kingdom. You see how the kingdom is above him. You're working on your kingdom. Uh, you may be looking at the history you have with somebody. So you may have known the Empress for a long time. Or um, you're looking at investing in the Empress. Investing in the relationship commitment. Investing in yourself. Investing in your business. A franchise. A I feel like you could be starting a brand new business and you know what? You're going to do a hell of a job at it because you're going to believe in yourself. And if no one's told you today, yes, you can create this amazing business, this thing that you're learning right now. You see how he's looking at the flower? Yes, the hell you can. But you know what? You got to do the eight of pentacles. You got to do it over and over and over again until you get it right, right? And the nine of swords, Gemini, Mars, Gemini, Aries, Scorpio. There's been disloyalty, depression, anxiety, nightmares, inability to sleep. What's coming up in your future is someone's going to try to do something out of revenge. They could either try to do silent treatment, which is manipulative. They could try to give you emotion, take it away, manipulative. They could try to gossip about you to other people that know you guys mutually from that relationship. Abusive. Okay, that's manipulative. They're going to try to do that. And the truth is, because they see you going towards this, they see you go, that is so crazy. They actually knocked it out. The spirit just knocked off these two cards. Hold on. I'll show you in a second. They just knocked off these two negative ass cards. <laughs> they knocked it off because what you're going towards is about to lead towards long-term stability, a family, a relationship, a marriage, a commitment. It's a brand new beginning in the next 11 days. It's a brand new start to a brand new relationship. So it leads to marriage. It leads to commitment. It leads to a relationship. This could go very quick. This secret admirer, you don't know this person even likes you. You have no idea who this is. Like, you don't know who likes you like this. You may know them. Seven of Pentacles makes me feel like you, you could have known them for seven years or eight years. You could have known them for a long time. But the truth is, you may not know them, all right? Uh, either way, you don't know who likes you like this. You have no idea. It leads to this twin flame. I don't really use that word here, psychic said, but that is twin flame. Four of wands is twin flame. It's been ignored because there's other people in the way. What I say is, like, there could be friends in the way that got something negative as hell to say. There could be... This malicious slander going on because you're going through an ending. So you could be going through a breakup. This is a breakup. Libra Saturn, Libra Capricorn. But you see the egg in the background? He has to go get it. The golden egg. You got to go get the golden egg. The sun. That's like the sun. You got to go after your happiness. What makes you happy? Is it a brand new career? Why can't you get hired by all these other people? Because you are meant to work for those other people. You're meant to work for yourself. Why didn't that relationship work out? I tried really hard. Because there's an empress here. Who you were meant to meet. You were destined to meet. This woman is uh, very independent, nurturing, single. Could very well be single. I don't see anyone else around her. 
okay? They would have given me like a masculine figure to show that. There is no man around here. She's free as a bird. That's why it's open. She believes in freedom. She believes in freedom. You're heartbroken because of the judgment in reverse. You've been ignoring an awakening. Spirit's trying to give you the Ace of Cups. Um, and you have conflicting feelings about it. There could be a lot of competition or a lot of people want the Empress because she's the Empress. Of course, a lot of people want the Empress. You're meditating and praying about this Ace of Cups. Now, for a lot of you, it's releasing the who, what, when, where, whatever. It'll come to me when it comes to me. But this is healing, self-love, sacral chakra healing as well, getting rooted. It's not about money. Who cares if someone has money? Who cares if they have um, a really, you know, uh, pretty face or whatever or a handsome face? It's not about sex. It's not about any of that. This is about what is real love. This is about something that can build to beauty. Someone's going to offer you something that feels like an awakening. You see how it's like hands are outstretched like an awakening. So let's see. I want to clarify some of this. Um, who is this uh, Ace of Wands person? I want to know so bad. Who's this Ace of Wands person coming towards the Empress, please? Who's the Ace of Wands person coming towards the Empress? This could be someone brand new. Could be someone who just has a lot of attraction for you. It is somebody who with the Two of Wands, Aries, Scorpio, Lauren, Ambrose, six feet under. They're watching you from a distance. They see you as a new love interest. Which is funny, six feet under, Scorpio, you're like death. That's really interesting. You look brand new. Uh, they're watching you from very far away. Who is this Ace of Wands coming towards you? Two of Swords. Ace of Cups. Two of Swords. Now, the person who's also coming towards you, Lucy Lawless, Xena, Warrior Princess, Two of Swords. Moon and Libra could be Cancer, Pisces, Sagittarius. Um, this is someone, because you have the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Love is coming in. Their heart chakra has been blocked off because of how badly they've been hurt by the people around them. But the Ace of Cups is coming in. Larry David, curb your enthusiasm. It's coming in. Who's the new love coming in? Be aware there could also be somebody who's trying to get in the way of you moving towards new love. That person has to go. If they have dual loyalty to two people or they're not communicating, the person who's coming towards you isn't communicating right now or they haven't said anything because two of swords is lack of communication this person has not communicated that they want to begin with you or that they love you or they care about you mainly because they're healing from someone who was abusive i feel like it's a masculine energy healing from someone who's abusive they're also going through oh i just elba luther taurus mercury the dark of the berry the sweet of the juice um this person is missing you they're also going through financial loss. They could have lost a job or lost money. It's a reconciliation, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. It's a reconciliation, Jody, Whittaker, Doctor Who. You could be dealing with someone who's in the medical field as well. All right. And the Five of Wands, Leo, Saturn, Leo, Capricorn. The person who's coming towards you um, for that new love. It's a reconciliation. It's the truth. Double-edged truth, you know, double-edged sword. But they are also conflicted within themselves. They may have depression or Asperger's syndrome. They may have difficulty uh, listening to themselves because of all the influences around them. They got to listen to themselves. Can't listen to anyone else. You can't get distracted by the 3D. Of, oh, well, I lack money. Do I have enough to offer? Who cares? Who cares? Do you have love? A man with wisdom is never poor. Do you have love? For some of you, you want to be financially stable before you approach someone. By all means, if that's what you want to do, okay, that's fine. But uh, realize no one's going to wait around for you, especially if they have no idea that you even like them. <laughs> that's another thing. A uh, person who's coming towards you um, is getting rid of somebody who had dual loyalty. When I say dual loyalty, it's like they could be leaving out someone in the cold that was very like uh, wanted a relationship was in a relationship with them, but was also in um, 
was also having loyalty to another person outside of the relationship. They're getting rid of that person. The two of wands is you found new love. It's just extremely far away. You got the idea, ace of wands, and now you're planning. Could be planning travel. It's in another country or another state. Ace of cups. Who's offering you the ace of cups? Who's offering you the ace of cups here? What is this? Five of wands, Leo Saturn, Leo Capricorn, Amy Winehouse. Who's offering you the Ace of Cups? Ace of Swords. Oh, I love that. Buddy Holly, Ace of Swords, Aquarius, Ebe, Gemini. Um, the person who's coming towards you is going to tell you the whole truth. They see that you don't really know what's going on. Um, or as far as you don't know that they like you. You may have a lot of people interested in you. You may be very mysterious to some people. People may find you mysterious and different. Amy Winehouse had a beautiful voice. Um, and she sung her pain. But that's what also sold records. Pain is also something that can be utilized into art. So seeing your pain as beauty is not, it's not something you have to repeat, but it's something to embrace in order to heal from. Who's offering the Ace of Swords? If someone was telling you the whole truth, it's a reconciliation. Ace of Swords is truth and clarity. Who's coming towards you with the Ace of Cups? It's like it wants to be really uh, quiet. Who's coming towards you with the Ace of Cups? The Seven of Swords, Chuck Berry. Moon in Aquarius could be Cancer, Pisces, Sagittarius. Someone's lying, cheating, thieving, or they've been deceptive in how they've expressed themselves. They, they wanted to appear like they're a lot more confident than they really are. Um, they don't want to tell you how they really feel. They've been in a short-term relationship even, or they only have been dealing with short-term relationships. Who's coming towards you with the Ace of Swords? Three of Wands. Who, Beyonce? Ooh, I love this. Oh, Four of Pentacles. Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Leo. Um, Patsy Klein, you've been holding back. Four of Pentacles is when you hold on to the past, hold on to materialism, the 3D, uh, or you hold back person who's coming towards you has been holding back their emotions now three of wands aries sun aries leo could be scorpio you have billy holiday singing your truth you're starting a brand new relationship okay you're starting a long distance travel rom romance we went from the ace of wands to the two of wands to the three of wands to the four of wands this is about to happen really quick what i'm saying is it could be in the next 11 days it is gonna feel like you go from just talking to this person like, oh, la, 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 to, yeah, this is how I really feel about you and I do want a commitment with you and this is how I feel. And I'm putting myself out there towards you and that's how it goes. That's just the way it is. Now, Queen of Cups, you're in your element, Beyonce, okay? Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Sagittarius, Ophetius. Uh, You're starting a brand new relationship with someone. You're leaving another person behind I mean, you're going towards Beyonce. You're leaving someone else behind. People who maybe try to interfere and get in the way, whatever. You're moving them aside and going towards a more loving energy. Someone who's already in very loving energy. Um, even Beyonce. Beyonce's a moon in Scorpio, I believe. A sun in Virgo. So, um, But the Three of Wands is starting a brand new relationship. No longer holding on to the past or holding on to people who are trying to interfere in this brand new connection relationship. They got to go. You're gonna get, Look, if you're single and you're dating, that's different. Then you're just getting to know new people. No one's come to you and been like, look, I really like you. Or I want something more with you. I want a commitment. I want a long-term relationship. Blah, blah, blah. No one's come to you and said that. There's going to be someone who does that. And that's when this all happens. They feel sneaky because they're sneaking away from someone else that's not happy they're walking away. Yeah, they're... It's like they're letting it go. They're letting something, someone go. And of course, you know, exes never get happy about that. They get angry. They gossip to the people you guys both knew or used to go on double dates with or whatever. Um, they could, there could also be people who don't like who you're going towards, but that person is an empress. They're an empress. They're someone who loves themselves. You won't see the empress getting up to chase anybody. It just doesn't happen. So that's also something you need to realize, right? I feel like you're really focused more on your healing process. Someone over here is focused on healing. They're focused on healing, but I do see someone coming towards you as the empress. It could be someone brand new. 
Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, both in the upright. That's beautiful. Um, I do see, you know, there is future for new love. A lot of you guys don't rush your healing process. If you need to heal from somebody who was abusive, you are dealing with an abusive spouse. If you need to heal from that, it was a woman. This is a masculine energy. Of course, change it as it flips, but I think you were with someone in a relationship who was very abusive. They wanted to cut you down. You don't deserve that. You're so much more than that, okay? So much more. And love is coming in your life because you decided to walk away. You got help from friends to walk away, to have a brand new beginning. You stopped talking to that person as far as like, um, I feel like you just walked away. And you have new love here. You're ignoring an awakening though. Some of you have been ignoring how you feel about somebody. And the truth is, if you keep ignoring it, you'll most likely end up losing uh, that opportunity to even approach them to tell them because she's the empress everybody wants the damn empress she's the empress you know what i mean let's let's be real no one said you didn't have good taste now right i feel like you're healing though take your time to heal you could be healing from heart surgery or heartburn or heartbreak third party you're healing you're healing this is all happening in the next 11 days it does feel like it's like 11 days this happens boom um you start this brand new relationship then the next 11 days after that it's almost like an overflow of emotion like i don't know how to explain that it could all happen at once but this really makes me feel like the next 11 days you somehow end up in a relationship or something extremely stable with commitment then the next 11 days it's like the ace of cups which can be like a proposal or an engagement or it just leads to something um you could see this person or something with the Ace of Cups. It's just like, it just is going to feel like you're you're falling in love. That's what it is. You fall in love. I was like, it feels like 11 days and like you're going to fall in love. Come back into, come back to this reading 21 days from now. Okay. Just saying. What can you tell me about the person Scorpio is inquiring about? Please, Holy Spirit. You're not dealing with any, you know, deceptive energies. Motivated. Whoever you're dealing with is very motivated. Give it time. I mean, when you think about it, Beyonce is a very motivated energy, but also this rock and roll energy. You see how he's blushing and so sweet? He has so much potential to speak his truth. Speak your truth. Not everyone's going to like it. Who cares? Who cares? It's about being your authentic self. Addicted to social media. I also feel like addicted to social media can represent when you are on social media all the time or it's like you're watching it all the time. You don't even have to post anything. You can be watching it all the time. Don't become addicted to what you see on social media. Uh, you also have someone stalking you on social media. You have an ex who could be watching you go to, towards this empress or watching you move on. Okay. That's not healthy. Okay, they're they're stalking and watching and gossiping and da 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 da. Mm mm. Don't do that. You in somebody's business? Don't do that. Don't do that. Someone's stalking them. They're stalking. The person you're gonna come towards or the person you're inquiring about is your best friend. Okay. This is also saying this next relationship isn't gonna be something where you have to do it for the gram. Let's pose to show people we're together. Like you don't have to do all that. Y'all know what y'all got. That's what it's going to feel like. Like, we know what we got. We don't have to prove anything to anyone. Okay? I mean, I'm not going to use Beyonce's relationship as an example. But it is the truth. You don't see them constantly having to post to prove anything. That's like when people are trying to constantly prove that they're wealthy. The wealthy don't need to prove that they're wealthy. They just know that they are. No one has to prove what they are. It's like, no, that's just who I am. Anything else? It's going to feel like you have a best friend. Manipulator. You're getting away from a manipulator. Someone was very manipulative. Either that Seven of Swords Chuck Berry person that's coming in with the slick words and thinks that they can just give you a little crumbs. and No. Uh-uh. You're also dealing with someone who's a social butterfly. You're not going to deal with anyone who's got slick words and they want to try to manipulate. And No. You either tell the truth or you keep it pushing because this empress does not play games. 
She knows her worth. She's the empress. She's so nurturing. She give the shirt off of her back. That's who the empress is, okay? Um, so keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Let's see what's going on. Tell me about this person that you're inquiring about. Changes ahead. There's big changes ahead. Big changes. You could be meeting someone brand new. There's a secret admirer. Scorpio, you've had a secret admirer for a while now. Since uh, when you were consciously creating your desires, that video, you've had a secret admirer. Taking responsibility. If you have been manipulating someone, take responsibility for that. You want a real relationship with somebody? Say, you know what? Yeah, I may have used you for money. Or I may have used you for your um, your looks. Or I may have used you for love. Take responsibility. Okay? If you want something to work. If not that, it's about taking responsibility for yourself. No one can do anything that you don't allow. Take responsibility for yourself. Take responsibility for your healing. Take responsibility for what you want to go after. You want love? Put yourself out there. What can you tell me about the person Scorpio is inquiring about? Secret is coming out. There's a secret coming out. What can you tell me about the person that Scorpio is inquiring about? Stick it out. Things will improve. So if this is like you don't know who this person is, you have no idea who the secret admirer is, Scorpio, you really don't. It's time to talk and they're missing you. That I just elbow. Someone is missing you. They feel left out in the cold, ghosted. They feel like they lack financially and that they shouldn't come towards you. But the truth is, if they do, there'll be a celebration. And they're also healing their wounds. So give yourself time. There's no rush for you to rush your healing process. Heal. Just heal. Okay? Will this woman still be single later on? I don't know, honestly. She has no idea you even like her cross watcher or Scorpio, whoever this is. When you least expect it, this is coming in. When you least expect it. Okay, give me a charm for this reading. Charm. Very interesting energy. What is this? Another unicorn. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Pisces. <laughs> You're magical, okay. A message from your um, higher self, Scorpio, from your higher self. We have so many different little, like, things going on here. The palm reader tells you to be open to love once again. Whatever happened in the past belongs in the past. It's time to move on with renewed optimism and allow love to enter your world once again. Your affirmation is, I allow myself to love and be loved. I allow myself to trust and be trusted, okay? So there's someone coming in. They've been hiding their feelings and emotions. A lot of other people have tried to get involved, but you guys are going to persevere through this and have a brand new relationship, commitment, or connection, okay? A good way to let go of the past is write everything down in a letter and burn it. Watch it go up in flames and be reduced to ashes. The letter and all it represents is gone. It's time to move on. So if you dealt with someone, someone dealt with someone very traumatizing. It was an abusive spouse, abusive girlfriend, ab abusive wife. You got it. You, you may have to really heal from that. Like, write it all down what that person used to say to you or do to you or whatever. And burn it up. Watch it burn. Then take a really nice bath. Take good care of yourself. Love yourself. Because you know what? You do deserve that. You really, really do. Don't let anyone tell you you're not worthy of love just because they're upset you're finding it. You found someone who's loving and loves you for you. Not for your money. Not for your looks. Not for what you can get them or give them. But they love you for you because you're amazing, because you're funny, or because you guys share a lot in common. You're compatible. Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands is a lot of attraction and a lot of emotion. Worthlessness is an old friend that walked with you for a long time on this earth. It successfully blocked your connection with abundance and love. Set it free. As I was saying, worthlessness is an old friend that walked with you for a long time on this earth. It successfully blocked your connection with abundance and love. Set it free and say, I do deserve. You do deserve love, all right? And just because it didn't work out with one person, it does not mean it's not going to work out with another person. Don't let anyone tell you, oh, it's not going to work out. But this, 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 this. Mm -mm -mm. Go towards what makes you happy in your heart. What's Scorpio's future? Go towards what makes you happy, okay, Scorpio? 28. You're going to be receiving a message from Aquarius, a Taurus, a Leo, a Scorpio, an Aries, a Pisces, or a Sagittarius. It's going to lead into a long-term relationship, travel, abundance, 
and uh, something that's very mutual and loving. The best of numbers, 28, your chance is good, don't hesitate. Though ambitious for your future and impatient for success, only quiet perseverance brings a lasting happiness. A surprise and a strange bed. You will get your wish. A surprise and a strange bed. I just ordered some beds for my dogs. They're 110 pounds each. But a strange, a surprise and a strange bed, you will get your wish. I feel like some of you guys are actually going to be traveling. It makes me feel like saying hotel. You could be traveling. A surprise. There's a surprise. This is also like you made your bed and now lie in it. You could be literally like uh, getting in bed with a whole new person. That Ace of Wands is a new sexual partner, a new love, Ace of Cups, new love, overflowing of love. This is the ovaries. This could lead to pregnancy one day, a family. Some of you have met your twin flame. The Four of Wands with the Ace of Wands, that's a twin flame. You, someone's just been ignoring an awakening. They're healing. Yeah, that's really crazy. Whew. That's a lot of energy. All right, that's what I got for you. If messages resonate, come like and subscribe, Scorpio. Remember, you do deserve man, woman, I don't care. Okay? I love you a lot, Scorpio. Cross watcher. All right? Later.